my life. You gave me a new start, gave me a new start. You changed my life. It's all because of you, all because of you. You make me smile. You gave me a new heart, gave me a new heart. You make me smile. It's all because of you, all because of you. All because of you Boys and girls, and welcome to Sunday service. I am so happy that each and every single one of you guys are here today. We're gonna worship together and we're gonna learn about God together. I am so happy you guys are here and welcome. But friends, before we begin, I have a question to ask you guys. Where are you guys watching from? Hmm. Maybe you live in a different state in the United States of America. Maybe you live in Nevada, or maybe you live in Oregon, or maybe you live in a whole different country like South Korea. Tell me, where are you guys watching from? Wow. Well, I live in California in the United States, and in California, it has been raining a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. We've had the most rain than we've ever had before. It has been raining so much, there's been so many storms, and there's been so much snow up in the mountains. It has been absolutely crazy. Well, well, what do you guys think would happen if it was a total opposite of that? Instead of too much rain, what if it never rained? What do you guys think would happen? Well, our plants that we get our food from would all die because they need water to survive. 
we wouldn't have enough water to drink if it never rained ever 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 again it would be pretty bad a lot of bad things a lot of scary things would happen well in today's bible story that's exactly what happened god made it never rain in a place called judah and god didn't do that because he's mean god did that because the land of judah was not listening to god so god made it never rain well let's watch a quick video and learn more about judah right now joel was a prophet god gave joel a message to tell to the people in judah bad things had been happening in judah no rain fell for a long time the people did not do what god said to do God warned the people what would happen if they disobeyed him. God said, you will plant seeds in your field, but locusts will eat the plants. When the people of Judah disobeyed God, swarms of locusts came into the land and ate the plants. When the locusts went away, more locusts came. They ate the plants for growing grapes, grain, apples, and other fruits. Joel said, listen to me. Has this ever happened before? No, the locusts had never eaten all the plants in Judah before. But there had been locusts somewhere else. Do you remember where? Some of the people might have remembered hearing the story. Many, many years before, when Moses led God's people out of Egypt, God sent locusts to punish the Egyptians for doing bad things. Now, God was punishing the people of Judah for doing bad things too. Be sad for your sin, Joel said. Ask God to forgive you. Joel told the people to get together and cry out to God. A day is coming when God will punish sin once and for all, Joel said. That day will be terrible. Joel said that God was going to send a strong army to take over Judah. Everyone would be scared. No one would be able to survive their attack. Stop doing bad things and turn back to God, Joel said. God loves you. He would rather forgive you than punish you. Now Joel had some good news from God. One day, God was going to send rain to make the plants grow. God would send rain so the animals could drink water. God said, I will save anyone who calls to me. I will bring my people back together. Then God said, another day of punishment is coming. I will punish people who turn away from me. I will pay back all of your enemies for the bad things they did to you. I am your God. If you stop sinning, I will forgive you. I will be with my people forever. Joel warned God's people about a day when God will punish his enemies, rescue his people, and make the world right. Jesus died to rescue people from sin, and those who trust in him will be safe. These past few weeks, we've been learning about prophets and how prophets share God's message. And this week, we're learning about the prophet Joel of Judah. You see, these bad things have been happening in Judah. For example, there was no rain whatsoever. No rain, so all of their plants were dying. And even worse, these large, big groups of bugs were flying into their cities and eating all of their food. But all of these bad things weren't just random things. God told Joel that he was punishing Judah for the bad things that they did. So Joel the prophet told everybody to repent. To repent means that you say sorry to God and ask God for forgiveness for your sins. And so the land of Judah, they all repented and God forgave them and put their land back to normal. Boys and girls, there's this word I want us to focus on today, and that word is mercy. You see, mercy means to choose not to punish someone even though they did something wrong. We all do something wrong sometimes, right? We all do something that we should get in trouble for. Maybe we got into a fight at home. Should we get in trouble for getting into a fight? Yes, of course, getting into a fight 
is a terrible thing to do. But if our mom or our dad chooses to not punish us, chooses to not put us in trouble, then they are showing us mercy. So mercy is choosing not to punish someone even though they did something wrong. And God showed mercy to Judah. Judah did wrong things. Judah did things that they should get in trouble for. But God chose to show them mercy and God forgave them for those bad things. But even more importantly, God shows us mercy, me and you and everybody. God shows us mercy. We do bad things, boys and girls. We do things that we should get in trouble for. But God chose to send his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. And if we believe in Jesus Christ, if we believe that Jesus died for our sins, then our sins are forgiven. And that is how God shows us mercy. God is merciful. That means God shows us mercy. And we are so happy and we're so thankful that God is merciful. So let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes and let's pray. Let's say thank you to God for being merciful to us. Let's say thank you to God for showing us mercy. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for bringing me and all of my friends to Sunday service. God, today we learned about the prophet Joel of Judah and how you showed mercy to Judah. We learned that showing mercy is to choose to not punish someone even though they did something wrong. God, you showed mercy to Judah by forgiving them even though they did something wrong. And you show mercy to us by sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins and allowing our sins to be forgiven, even though we sinned, even though we do wrong things, even though we do things that should get us in trouble, you still chose to forgive our sins through your son, Jesus Christ. So thank you so much for being merciful. Thank you so much for showing us mercy. We love you, we worship you, and we thank you. And we pray that Jesus and everybody says, Amen. Awesome, boys and girls. Amen. Let's remember, God is merciful. God shows us mercy. Let's always remember that and always be thankful and say thank you to God. All right, boys and girls. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, guys.
about.